I just honestly played with some makeup, that's why this is happening right now. I used this palette, like, let me show you. My contacts are from Pia Contact. They're from Japan. They're the most comfortable like one day contacts I've ever used actually. So this is in the shade Cider. So the palette that I use today for this smoky pinky look, I like it actually. It's kind of like feminine. I don't really know. But it's the VDL and uh, Pantone uh, Pantone palette. It's like a purpley, purpley palette like that. Kind of pretty. Went in with this VDL lip cube. Um, it's like a velvet matte finish. I really, really like it and I like the packaging too. Today, I just wanted to share with you guys skincare that I've been loving for fall. Um, you can use it till winter also. Honestly, these products work well for me. Um, I always recommend products that work well for me and I don't know if it'll like work well for everyone. But typically with me, I have acne prone skin. I am pretty sensitive to artificial fragrance um, and sometimes when there is fragrance, it's really mild in my products. Um, but I do test out a lot of skincare and these are the ones that I really, really like at the moment. And uh, today it's just gonna be all Korean beauty products. Um, I'll do another one on I guess American or Western beauty products maybe. Honestly, all these products I'm recommending, you don't have to use all at once. You can slowly try them if you want. And if you're bored with your current skincare, you can try new ones. I'm always trying products just because I am a junkie. And yeah, this shirt is also, I got it online. I'll link it down below if you're wondering. It says, please, very polite shirt. I always use an oil cleanser. So um, I, use, I still use the Kose Softy Mode Deep Cleansing Oil. I find that one to be quite affordable and fragrance-free, useful, doesn't sting my eyes, so I don't really change up things that, um, you know, unless I'm bored. One thing with me with cleansing, I don't like to spend too much money on my cleansers because it touches your face for like a good like two minutes, so I try not to, um, I try not to spend too much money on that. The cleanser that I've been loving so far is this Innisfree Blueberry Rebalancing Rebalancing Cleanser. It is a pH balance cleanser, so it's pH 5.5, which is pretty close to your natural skin's pH levels. You don't want, you really want to avoid like sulfate, um, things with sulfate in, sulfates in them, and also avoid uh, products that are too high in pH uh, because it does throw off your sort of natural acid barriers and your natural skin conditions. I guess um, so yeah stay away from really alkaline products this one is perfectly balanced it contains blueberries and allantoin it is um, an antioxidant very very decent cleanser it has glycerin as the third ingredient I think so it's gonna be moisturizing your skin while it cleanses and also allantoin which is an active ingredient derived from onions that helps rejuvenate and rebuild your skin and honestly I don't know if these products are gonna rebuild your skin just because it is in the cleanser, in the cleansing form. But hey, it's affordable, it works really, really well. It doesn't strip your skin too bad, which is a problem I have with a lot of foaming cleansers, and this one foams really, really well and nicely. Um, yeah, so far I really like this cleanser. It's the Blueberry one by Innistry. Very, very nice. And it's like a white, clean packaging, so you know. It's just nice to have. And I haven't heard this brand before actually until recently. It's called Some By Me. It is the HA, BHA, and PHA 30 day um, miracle toner. By the way, um, if you guys are always interested in um, looking at ingredients, there's our, there are two websites that I really, really recommend. It is skincharisma.com and also CostDNA. Before I purchase my products, I always check the ingredients and check sort of what the red flags are and if it's safe for sensitive skin or not because I try to use as my products as I can um, very very little essential oils and very little um, dyes and artificial fragrance I just decided to try it out and I actually really really like it it has AHA and BHA and PHA that's what it says and it has 2% niacinamide which is vitamin B and it brightens up the skin and brightens hyperpigmentation and it contains lactobionic acid and also salicylic acid to help re exfoliate the skin. So this toner is really really good for acne prone skin for sure. I use this day and night and I find that it doesn't irritate my skin. It also contains um, tea tree extract 
so that's really really good at, because tea tree is a disinfectant and um, it also I think it's also an anti fungal ingredient so I like that for my skin it really really just helps calm breakouts I use it with my palms I don't use any um, toner pads or anything like that very very solid product I'm very surprised and I'm really glad I tried it I, I wasn't sure just because I didn't know um, this this know about this brand so with all these ingredients I find that after using this toner my skin definitely feels more conditioned and more refined the next step is serums and this one is by some by me as well it's the same line it looks pretty much the same the the thing that I like about this serum is it contains Centella Asiatica which is a skin healing and anti-inflammatory agent uh, really helps just with breakouts and redness in the skin and this serum is actually like it's not sort of blended because there are some like oil droplets in there and I checked the ingredient list and it does have olive oil in it as well and not only that it has licorice root which is very very brightening and it has a bunch of acids like it has glycolic acid, lactic acid, malic acid, pyruvic and tartaric acid so this blend I'm assuming um, just helps exfoliate the skin and reveal brighter skin after I use this, I feel like it's a weird texture just because it's so like watery but there's like oil droplets in it so I shake it and then drip it and then just apply it on my skin. It feels very very nice and moisturizing actually for a serum that is um, targeted for problematic skin I would say. The fragrance is very sort of tea tree-ish and herbally which I like. I don't like anything florally actually. So this has been a staple and it's really really great for acne prone and dry skin as well just because it has some oils in there. Let me wait. My battery died. The next serum that I like is this Skin and Lab Red Serum. I'm not sure how I stumbled upon this. I think I was just on YesStyle and I was looking at serums with high reviews. So then this one popped up. I really really actually like it in the daytime. It's a very simple, it's like hydrating hydrating enough without feeling heavy it has antioxidants like blueberry and raspberry extract and it also contains niacinamide uh, which brightens up the skin and other than that i think it also contains sweet almond extract which i don't know what it does actually but overall this serums this serum is nice to wear like to apply in the daytime it just makes your skin feel very bright and moisturized and it smells like jasmine like jasmine green tea so yeah I really really like it if you're looking for something to sort of condition your skin and slow down aging this is gonna be the serum for you and it's very non-abrasive it's a very very lightweight serum next up are my creams and I've already talked about this before this is the Sunjung uh, two times very intensive cream for from Etude House. This is a very basic, simple moisturizer that I feel like everyone should have when you're traveling. If you're a makeup artist, if you are young, old, uh, dry skin, oily skin, you should always have like a simple, basic moisturizer. And this is basically it. Um, it moisturizes your skin with no uh, artificial fragrance, dyes, or if essential oils. It, it's just a really nice. Um, all-around cream that you can always go back to. It has panthenol which helps calm down the skin and I, I just really like it. I think this is one of those products where if they continue making it, I'm always going to have a bottle. People that I recommend this, this to, they just love this cream so much. For another cream that I like other than that one is this cream by Dermatory and it is the Azulene Hyperallergenic Sika Cream. And look at the ingredients, I was really really shocked and I guess I I didn't expect these kind of ingredients to be in this, but it has neem, uh, holy basil, and turmeric in it, which are ingredients that I used to sort of look into when I was in India. And I used to be very very interested in Ayurvedic medicine. I don't know if you're you, you're familiar with that, but Ayurvedic medicine is a very ancient medicine that originated from India and they still actually use it today and it's very herbal, it's very natural, it's one of those naturopathic medicines. It's very herb based and sort of self-healing and not using I guess western heart medications. So I used to be very into that just because my major back then was nutrition. So seeing these ingredients I was very very surprised because I haven't seen them in skincare. Um, 
other than this one brand called Himalaya and it's popular in Southeast Asia so I was surprised to see it in like a Korean product Neem is supposedly antibacterial so that's great for people that suffer from breakouts and also suffer from any skin conditions and holy basil is one of those drinks that I used to drink every day almost in India because they have it in those tea packets it's supposedly said it's like a miracle miracle herb that helps with everything like it helps with fatigue with general ailments like colds and stuff like that so I was very surprised that it's in this and then turmeric obviously um, got popular recently in the US for being an anti-inflammatory on the website it says like it is free from uh, sulfates, fragrances, dyes and all that bad stuff so that's why I really uh, went for this cream I honestly haven't heard of this brand as well but looking at the ingredients, it's pretty safe and it also contains Centella Asiatica extract. It spreads really, really nicely. You can use this under your makeup without any pilling or anything like that. So, yeah, and it's a, a light lavender y color. This is one of my favorites right now, especially for acne prone skin and reactive skin. I think you will find that this product is really, really great. I have not tried any sunscreens just because I continue using this one by um, Apu and I haven't found any Korean sunscreens that have topped this in terms of price and formula this one is really really nice that doesn't leave a white cast contains some Tela Asiatica and Madagascar which helps calm down the skin and also prevent breakouts so honestly I just haven't tried anything other than this one this is gonna be a staple for me for a very long time for sleeping masks, I continue using the Laneige sleeping mask if I feel like my skin is dry and sometimes in the fall and winter it will. So I just use the Laneige sleeping mask. That one is like, I've been using it for a long time so I don't, I don't find that I need to change it unless something really really great comes along. And I also use this Innisfree lip sleeping mask. It smells like honey. It smells like honey and jasmine. It's really really nice. And it says sleeping mask but it feels just like a regular lip balm um, but it's a very mild smelling lip balm and it's very calming especially at night time um, it's been a staple for me next up I have been loving this Camellia essential hair oil serum this one is a cult classic silicones get such a bad rep in skincare and hair care and I think it's just those like buzzwords that scare people but actually I used to work at a salon and they would use silicone based hair products versus oil because oil actually wears, weighs down the hair and makes it look very heavy and stringy whereas silicone is a lighter feeling and it glides in the hair and applying silicone on damp hair like this product here actually helps your hair dry faster as crazy as it sounds because it repels water I think this one has a little bit of fragrance in it so if you're allergic to fragrance, uh, be careful, but if you're not, I would say this is a great product. Silicones are also in skincare. Um, it actually helps um, create a layer of moisture and it delivers active ingredients much better if it is in a skincare product. So just because a product has silicone doesn't mean it's bad for you. Um, a lot of people say it breaks them out, but personally, I, I don't find that silicone products break me out. Actually, I find that it retains moisture in my skin much, much better. So it really depends on you and your personal preference. So when I do break out, like this guy right here, I go in with the Sika Clear Spot Patch. I only got it just because I like this Uphue uh, product so much, so I decided to get one of these patches from Uphue. It works really, really well. It's so hydrocolloid patches that suck out um, pus and impurities from the skin and this one sticks on really really well it doesn't fall off throughout the night and in the morning it's still there so that's why I like it I think it is a solid type of patch and it's not too expensive because a lot of times you can go through those patches really really fast uh, but this one stays on and works really really well I have this tool I guess I would say it's like a beauty tool this is sort of like an add-on if you want like extra glow to your skin even though you can just use your hands having a tool just makes it nicer and actually makes you want to massage your face a little bit more 
If you guys aren't familiar with the Japanese reefers, they cost like 200 plus dollars, so they're really expensive. Um, this one's like a dupe. This one I think is by Laneige, and I got it online. Um, it doesn't have microcurrent like the reefer, but it's a very nicely weighted. Feels very uh, heavy and cold, so it's great for bloating and lymphatic massages. Overall, it's pretty good. Uh, you want to go this way upwards because going from using this hand going the other way actually is counterproductive because you're pinching the skin downwards but going upwards brings the skin up more uh, it's particularly nice after i've had like thai food at night i somehow always order thai curry at night and the next day my face is always really bloated and i'm also like a grinder not like a wood grind but a teeth grind and this helps from like just loosening up the muscle a little bit. Every time I, it goes around my jaw area, it gets really, really tender. So you want to go like five times each section with the smaller ball on the top always. And to drain all of it, you just go down the neck this way. And if you do it consecutively for a week every day, you'll find your skin to be more plump. Uh, there's less like grayness in the skin and becomes more glowy and more rosy. A lot of times if you have like dark circles, it's caused by stagnant uh, blood. Not, I wouldn't say like stagnant like you're dead, but stagnant as in like the circulation isn't great. So then like your dark circles will start to show and your skin won't be as rosy. So just go like this and it's just a great tool. And you know, compared to the Rifa, this is like I think like 15% of the price or something. So it's a great dupe and a great steal. I think everybody would benefit from some sort of massage for their face. Doesn't matter what age you are. Um, you can honestly massage everywhere because it's like a grip. It's a weird feeling. Like this moment you start massaging it, it feels like this thing is gripping your face. See? Like it's just weird. But it's great like it's really really good for when you're puffy or before an event but yeah thank you so much for watching guys uh, i hope you try these products out and let me know what you think if you have any product recommendations you want me to review and stuff like that let me know and i'll get them and then i will do a thorough review on them it always makes me happy whenever you guys come up to me in person and tell me like my recommendations have helped your skin because you know these days affordable products are everywhere and good skincare is available to so many people so if you do have a like a skin problem there is a fix and you know using the right products definitely help with that I, when people are going you know like going through some stuff just because their skin is not the best you know i used to not even want to go out when i had a breakout um so i totally understand it, how skin like takes a toll on you and how it affects people's or your or mine my self-confidence so i really want to say good luck with your skincare journey i'm always here to chat and i'm always going to recommend things to you guys that i truly truly believe in these are my recommendations for the fall winter for best skincare from korean brands i hope this video helped you guys and don't forget thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos I hope you have a good day. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Bye.